Hey guys, Bill here. You know, it's really amazing all the strange stuff that people can find on Google Earth, like shipwrecks or airplane graveyards. There's even one of a cruise missile in flight. One of the more recent findings that a lot of you guys are sending in to me is this one. First sent in by Tasso's Avionitis, Soap Bomb, and Rose Goodleff, this video shows a strange looking object that some claim is the sea monster known as the Kraken. But is this picture for real? Or are we just looking at another big fat fake? Why don't we dive in and see what we can find out? Looking closer at the video, we see that it was first posted to a YouTube channel called Science and Technology on June 15th. 2016. In the description, it reads, Is that a Kraken? Massive object spotted on Google Earth. There is no narration on the video, just some eerie music. The video zooms into a place called Deception Island near Antarctica and then glides over to a dark area of the map. It is here that we see something strange in the water. It looks like a giant creature of some kind swimming through the ocean with a wake behind it. The video maker uses some measuring tools supplied by Google Earth and estimates the length of the creature is 25 yards or about 22 meters in length. Okay, so what are we looking at here? As many of you already know, 95% of the ocean is still unexplored, so there could be any number of weird and giant creatures out there that we've never seen. But on the other hand, you would expect something this big would have been spotted by somebody. Nevertheless, there were a whole lot of suggestions out there on the internet, including a giant squid, which technically at this size would be a colossal squid, whales like sperm whales and blue whales, which are very big and known to visit these waters, and some people are even suggesting it's a UFO. It was a lot to go through, so I sent the video over to my research group, the Chewy Piranhas, they started going through the leads. Researcher Shelby Leon looked into Krakens to see if we could determine if they really exist or not. Meanwhile, Holmes Andreas checked to see if the image shown in the video actually exists on Google Earth and isn't some cooked up Photoshop prank. He also checked on other reports and news items published on the internet. Together, they were able to come up with the information that I needed for this official answer, which I'm going to tell you in a few seconds, but before I do that, what I need to know is what you're thinking up here, okay? Now, when I say go, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake, okay? Now, if you can't do that, it's okay to pause the video here, go to the comment section, leave your answer there, and then come back here and play the rest of the video to see if you were right, okay? You can also vote right up here, but what I do is I yell first, I then leave a comment and then I vote. I do all three, so there's no mistaking what my answer was. All right, you ready? And go. Okay, did you do it? Good, because without any further ado, I'm gonna open this up so I can provide the answer just for you. All right, you ready? Here we go. The video entitled, Is That a Kraken? has been carefully examined frame by frame by a variety of experts. Okay, well, I don't expect anything less from you guys. Results from this examination were screened and sampled against a large database of known living ocean creatures. Oops, serious work there, guys. This process returned no positive identification of anything living, wow. But, there's a but here. But we were able to confirm the massive object is real and not created by any special effects. Okay, so I'm getting a little confused here. It goes on. Therefore, as to the video's question, is this a Kraken? The answer is no but the claim that it shows a massive object, real. Wow. All right, a little complicated, but you know, hey, if you have to go by the title of the video because that's what we're examining. It was a question, is it a Kraken? And we said, no. And then it just said massive object spotted, and that is true. But I guess the question is, what kind of massive object? I mean, like, 
something like I saw at the beach last summer? Well, not exactly, but something not too far from that. First off, let's talk about the Kraken. Despite its recent appearance in an auto insurance advertisement, the Kraken is just a myth from Nordic folklore. Based on actual sightings of giant squid, the legend quickly morphed into a tale of a creature over 100 feet long, or about 30 meters, that could pull entire ships into the deep blue sea. With the Kraken off the table, Andreas was then able to focus in on what the massive object is. His search led us to an internet blog called Southern Fried Science. The editor of this blog, Andrew David Thaler, who also happens to be a deep sea biologist, was the first one to correctly identify the object. It's not, it's not a Kraken. It's not a giant squid. It's not a killer whale eating a seal. Um, it's, it's a rock and it's, it's, a, it's a cool looking rock, but it's, it's just a rock. After all that, it was just a rock. I mean, how did he figure that out? You know, you pull up some of the old nautical ch charts and there's some very, very good charts of the Southern Ocean. And you, you just look at where this picture is and where Deception Island is. Right there in the middle, island is Sail Rock. Sail Rock, according to Andrew, sits at the exact same coordinates as those being used by the people who said they had spotted a Kraken. You know, we have, we've only had really 16 or 17 years of experience looking at satellite images. So people don't really have a great perspective when we're looking at the planet from the top down. You know, we're very good at looking at the planet from the ground level because that's what we've evolved to do. But looking from the sky is it's very difficult for a lot of people. So there's a lot of stuff on Earth that looks kind of weird. Wow, amazing. You know, I think he's right about that. But you know what else? I think people are just good at seeing things that aren't there no matter what direction they're looking from, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I want to thank everybody who sent that video in. Also, I want to thank the Chewy Piranhas for their excellent research, as usual. And I want to send a special thanks out to Andrew Thaler from Southern Fried Science for his excellent investigation. By the way, that blog, Southern Fried Science, has become one of my regular daily reading destinations. It's a great blog. I suggest you put it on your list too, okay? I'm gonna leave a link up here and in the description box below. See you next time.